Hello everyone and welcome to another lesson. I'm very happy to have you here with me today. Today I have a special note that I want to go over with you guys. It's a community note and it's very very useful. But before I start I just want to point your attention to my store. Here you will find all of my workflows and my blueprints as well as my courses. You can find them all in packs or individuals uh, and you, there's also this all access uh, subscription that you will get everything that is in here plus all the future uh, workflows and blueprints and courses that I will create all right since we got that over I will leave uh, the link for this in the description below so let's get back to here so first what I want to do is I want to talk about this uh, N8N globals so this node is a pretty cool node to be honest and you can see here it's very it's gaining a lot of popularity so this node actually allows you to create global constants so that uh, something like global variables so those are valuable variables that you can access from uh, from uh, all of your workflows so uh, imagine if there's a constant or is it a variable or a, a whatever a code something that you want to keep accessing throughout all of your uh, workflows not just one uh, and you want uh, a place to put that code, uh, the global uh, constant node is, is very useful to that. So first we're going to go to the community. So this can be found in the settings. If you go here and you click these three dots and you go to settings, you'll end up in here and then you go to community node. Then you, you need to click the word install in here. You need to go here and grab in this this name so it has to have it has to start with n8 n nodes and then the name after you do that you put it here and you check that box and you say install I have that already installed and it's here as you can see so I'm gonna go here and this is a new uh, workflow this is the first step so this is the trigger step that starts the automation all automation starts with the trigger step whether it's manual on schedule or webhook. So let's start, click on this, and I want to uh, do the manual one because we're testing here. The manual one doesn't doesn't get activated. It's only uh, it's only activated with a button, this one or this one. So let me uh, search for my uh, my note. Uh, any any uh, any community node will have this uh, cube next to it. So I'm gonna choose this one. And what I want to do is I want to uh, create a new credential. So once I have that, it's we can see this one. So here it says use name, value, format, separate, multiple, constant with with a new line. Okay. So let's uh, let's for example name this. Uh, uh, let's say, Appify API. Let, let's uh, let's do a random number here. Okay. So uh, I have this code and I have uh, this and I want to be able to access this variable across all of my workflows. So I hit save. Let me add another one, for example, just for uh, the sake of explaining. Let's see, Davily API, put a number here, first name, Okay, just a series of, uh, of variables. So I click save, I separate them with a new line. So now I have this here, so it's now there. Uh, I can test this step so I can put all constant in one key and then the name, name, the, name that key. So if I hit test, there you go. So I have my constant, it puts uh, everything in one container called constants and it then put, lists, lists all the, uh, so imagine this is a, as an object and all of this, these are inside of it. If I turn this off and I hit test, then it gives me everyone, uh, as you can see here, everyone has, uh, it's not in a one container, it's everyone is separated. Okay. So now if I want to access this later on, uh, for example, edit fields, I have an excellent video about edit fields. Just uh, make sure to check that out. 
so I can access this global constant by dragging this one here as you can see it's an object and it has everything inside so if I click dot then I can choose what what do I want okay so if I go to this one it gives me that one all right now this is all awesome uh, but up until now this is uh, just a normal node like like the edit field nodes but the power is here if I go and create a new workflow let me refresh let me save refresh okay so this is a new workflow now if let's start with a manual one as usual and let's say I want to access uh, all the constants that I have that I had in the other video I'll bring my uh, node and I choose the account that I want and then here if I go to edit fields execute previous nodes there you go I can have that now here now see the power of the constant so this global constant is now available in whatever workflow that I want I can always in whatever branch I want in whatever uh, part of the workflow that I have whenever I want that code I just need to drop in this node and bam I have everything I need inside of it so here you can build as much as you want you can add to this or you can create a new one okay if you want to rename those if you are uh, let's name the, these for example API keys now you can have another one where you uh, name it to another one and then uh, name it to another for example usernames for example contacts anything you want then you can uh, drop in the global constants node and then choose what from whatever uh, credential that you want and it will pull everything you want so imagine this as a group of variables group of information that you need that you can access whenever you want once you set it once you can access access it in whatever workflows in whatever branch in whatever uh, these will always be available for you I think this is a pretty useful one uh, I would encourage you to start using it in your uh, workflows all right I hope you did find this uh, beneficial I don't want to make this video long I like to make my videos short and sweet if you did like this video please give it a like subscribe for more videos and i'm going to see you in the next lesson